All right, we got Blue Division donated $5 and says, Striker and Ahab, I saw a video that some fake socialist did on Red Ice, essentially just shitting on whites. Is there a chance we can get some fashy versus commie debates, especially in regards to socialism and economics? We are the that's, real socialists. That's Vosh or Vosh or whatever. He's like a, uh, he's part of SoyTube. It's this like SJW YouTube network. And, um, this guy, again, challenged me to debate. I accepted. I pushed him on it again. And he won't debate me. So this guy says I'm irrelevant and then spends 20 minutes on his stream talking about me. Yeah. Uh, okay, if I'm irrelevant, debate Mike Enoch. He's the number one alt-right guy in America right now. Talk yeah. to him. Yeah. Debate him. Why won't you debate him? I'll tell you why he won't debate us. Because he knows we're going to attack him from the left on yeah. all the popular things. And we're going to attack him from the right. And again, all the popular things. Yeah, uh, this guy. This guy spends almost no time, you know, talking about class issues or class interests. He spends all his time talking about bullshit, like fucking transsexual bathrooms and other bullshit that only rich people care about. Yeah. Uh, and so you know, this guy could easily be absolutely wrecked in an ideological clash. He knows that, which is why he only picks on retards. Like I saw him. He brought like a. a a guy who's just like a meme Nazi, right? Like a guy who gets his, his views from like, I don't know, the Daily Stormer or something. And yeah, you can beat those guys. You can trick those guys up and, and trip them up in, 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 in your word salads and, and little uh, pill pull. But come do that with me. Come, come fight someone your own size. Well, you know, and I, I, will fucking, I will fucking wreck that guy. I will fucking totally discredit him and his little racket. He makes, that guy makes like $1,000 a stream. From his fucking from his fans, so he knows that if I discredit him, his whole thing about how he's owning the Nazis and all this and that it was, just goes in the garbage. So, I, uh, I, 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 one of the things I like about uh, the way you and Mike both debate, or the way you frame arguments, and this is something that I've always tried to do, and I've I've told people this before, uh, and I've given this advice to people: if you want to win a debate if you want to win an argument you need to be able to debate the enemy's position better than they can debate it themselves in other words and and i believe this about you striker and i believe it about mike you guys are pretty formidable with the way you think and argue to the extent that if you had to argue the liberal position or the uh leftist position you guys would know how to do it and yeah. you would do it more yeah. forcefully you would do it if you disingenuously just for to play devil's advocate no. i had a very good friend in college who who he was a uh, he loved to argue this guy and we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things but so many of my arguments i honed in in arguing with I mean, we would just get together and we would have a, there would be a party or something at his place and we'd end up just everybody in the room would just be sitting there with their mouths hanging open while we just go at it like blood sports but he was very good always this guy at playing devil's advocate and he could he could make the whole room believe that he was a total like george bush supporting iraq war supporting like cheerleader for the iraq war even though he absolutely was with on more anti-war protests with me than anybody else mm -hmm. during that period but he could argue the position so strongly and he would do this just to fuck with like leftists you know he would he would he would take like a pro george bush position uh just to like mess with them see what they were made of intellectually and uh and he was quick on his feet uh and and, and this guy and i are used to argue all night long and i learned how to do that how to switch my position so that i can argue the enemy's position and that's why you know i read so much that's why i watch meet the press and face the nation that's why i think about the arguments that the enemy is making yeah because i don't want to be just hopped up on my own bullshit propaganda and that's what it is with these people who like read breitbart it's like they and, and the liberals are even worse the people who read like vox they have no idea what is going on in the mind of an average Trump voter. They have no, no clue. Well, and the, the thing is, the thing is, with leftists especially, all their arguments are canned. So once you learn their their basic arguments, you can beat them every time. <laughs> right. A simple amount of critical thinking. Right. But they're not just canned. But like they're also really, they have really unpopular ideas. Like I was talking to someone today. The new, you know, the new meme. I don't know if you saw that Jimmy Dore thing where he brought that kid Caleb. He claims to be like a reformed Nazi or something. Oh, and Caleb was talking about how 
climate change is causing mass immigration from non-white countries to white countries. And Jimmy Dore was kind of shitting on him during this because, you know, you're taking two issues, two policy issues, immigration and climate change stuff that are fundamentally unpopular. You know, people don't want to pay more for gas just for your climate change stuff. They don't want to eat bug burgers, okay? And they definitely don't want 35 million Mexicans in their country. Okay, so it, like you're just combining the two worst things and you're making this argument and that's totally some crap you got out of a can from an NGO. So anyone that does any bit of critical thinking and debates that is going to crush that person. And the yeah. thing with Vosh is that he actually is kind of fluent in meme Nazism. So he knows like some of the memes and stuff. Some of them are actually not true. Like for example, it is true that like, for example, people will say that um, they'll cite some statistic about um, uh, Jewish, Jewish owners of slaves. Right. And some of those statistics are genuinely inaccurate, which is why it's so important to, 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 to really emphasize empirical accuracy when you're giving statistics on these things right because if not those guys will will, will have a hey uh, they'll they'll have a field day with you never let you live it down yeah exactly so we we have no room to make any mistakes so if you don't know what you're doing don't go into debates with these people but then yeah. again they also feel the same way right so like that's why they won't like they will they will literally debate people that have more followers than i do and they'll debate people that have fewer followers than I do and then come up with some excuse for why they do that. And the reality is the reason they don't like what I say is that I can talk to you. I can give my views, my exact I'm, – I'm pro-white. I'm, I'm a pro-West. I'm pro – I'm basically a national socialist. But I can frame these views in a leftist context for people that have a brain that is more uh, in tune with that frequency. And they're fucking scared, scared of shit about that. This is why – They I find mean, that scary. 